This is the Belton Depot, and it is the reported to be the most haunted building in the upstate. We've had groups like Jason Prophet of the Haunted Greenville come in with their with all their ghost hunting equipment and have uh, reported no less than seven different spirits here at the museum. Uh, we have everything from a young girl that they found when they came uh, in a dark room, they left a flashlight on the ground, and she communicated with them by turning on and off the flashlight. No one else around it that could have touched it. The young girl also uh, made herself known during an exhibit about linens. We had a, a antique rope bed set up with quilts and pillows, all roped off so that you could not touch it with signs, do not touch, do not go near. And uh, one morning, the director at that point came in, and it looked very clearly like a young girl or a young child had been laying in that bed. She asked you know, volunteers who had been in over the weekend if their grandchildren had been with them, and there was she could find no explanation for the indentation in the bed. She straightened it all out so it looked the way it was supposed to, and. At various times throughout the exhibit, she would come in to the same indentation on that bed. The, uh, the ghost hunters have also found a spirit by the name of Hal, and Hal does not like modern technology. He loves to um, kind of mess around with the phones. When, when I am talking on the phone, there will be times that it'll sound like I've accidentally dialed another phone number. It'll make those beeping noises. But it will happen even if I hold the phone out from my face and hold it in a way that there is no possible way I could be touching a button. It will still make those same noises. Uh, Hal also actually came in during a presentation that Jason Prophet made here at the depot and made himself known during that presentation. Uh, not only did they have various technical difficulties throughout the presentation, but Jason Prophet actually stopped the presentation and asked if Hal was present, and he has equipment to record that will record voices, and Hal made it known that he said, I'm here. Uh, that is actually on, yeah, Jason Prophet actually put that on YouTube, so you can actually find that video of that presentation and hear Hal acknowledge that he was there that evening. They also found uh, the a young, uh, sorry, an older African American gentleman that was a porter. We can hear him whistling and the sound of the bell that was attached to the cart that he would use to carry luggage uh, for passengers. And you can hear him whistling and hear that bell as he's walking around doing his job. The corner in the North End Gallery uh, near our restrooms have been documented that there's a, a large, series of abnormalities uh, when they use their equipment in that in that area of the building and historically we know that in World War one it was the freight end of the depot and that is where coffins from soldiers returning from World War one were put as they were in transit home and we have a feeling that that is that is where those where, where those abnormalities that they record are coming from have you seen or heard anything weird? I said, I, I've, I've experienced a lot of the problems with the telephones, especially. Um, other technology issues that, you know, it, it's hard to say is it just technology is technology or if it was something else interfering with it or not. Uh, the museum is always making noises and creaks and. It's an old building, so how much of that is just an old building and how much of that is other people in here with me? So the rest of them you haven't heard yet? I have not personally heard them, no. no yeah. Not yet.